What's up, everybody? Welcome to Flaco Media. Today, we're gonna, um, we got plans for the BMW. Um, so I have uh, some work equips on my shit. Work equips, 05s. But you see how I got metal brush in the rear and um, polished lips in the front. Well, I went ahead and bought some more polished, well not polished, metal brush lips from VR, VR wheels. So I'm gonna put my stocks back on and take these off so I could take them to the tire shop, get them dismounted and take them apart. So that's today's uh, plan. But I'm gonna take y'all, show y'all how to um, take apart these wheels. It should be fairly easy. It's just a long process, but we're gonna get to it. You know, I gotta slap my, my spacers back up there. So I don't have that weak ass fitment, even when it stocks. There you go. Thing is all. 22 millimeter. There you go. Now let me get the stock wheel. Let's see, put the spacers on. You got a pretty good fitment there. Let's lower the car now. So I'm um, back at it again at my fairy tire shop. Boy Mikey doing this thing. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm gonna try um at least get the uh the glue out of them. The glue? Yeah, the, the sealant. Oh, okay. I could do the rest at home. Where's my lighter at, Mikey? Do you have it? I need to use it. Fucked it up at the very end. I tried. You gotta put that in the video. I had a little ding. <laughs> Alright, so I'm back at it again. This is day two. Right now I am loosening the bolts. And then I had to uh take out the last bit of um, sealant like in the edges with a straight razor so that's what I'm doing now but I did notice something very intriguing look at that look at that beauty right there but surprisingly it, was, it wasn't leaking but I'm still gonna have to fix that that's the same crack I've been dealing with for like ever I think I've ordered that like two times already but uh, I don't feel like getting a new barrel because I'm already 600 deep with those barrels. I ain't trying to spend another two, three hundred dollars on another barrel. It's just not in my budget, if y'all understand. So right now I'm just taking the, loosening up the bolts and then taking them apart. But yeah, this is, uh, it's a long process. You know, but I understand why people charge so much to rebuild the wheels because this is a really long, it's a simple process, but it's a long process because I got to loosen up this 40 bolts times four. You do the math. But yeah, let me get back to this shit. Get it done.
So as you can see, all the bolts are out. A little bit of shaky shake and kabam. The sandwich falls apart. So that's the outer or well, inner barrel, the face, and the outer barrel. Three piece wheels. Ain't that some magic? Now I gotta repeat this shit three more times. So they're all dismantled. I labeled my barrels. The rear is and then the front's over there. Now I'm just gonna get them all, I'm gonna pressure wash them. Get them all cleaned up so I can take them to my favorite painter, Cholo. All right, so long story short, your boy took a big fat ass L with these lips that I bought, these new barrels that I bought for my three piece wheels. So apparently I, I measured them shits wrong. I measured from lip to lip. And technically, supposedly you're supposed to measure from from bead to bead. Uh, for all my three-piece pe uh, three people up there, you know what that means. So I took a big L. Honestly, that was a big L. But I think I'm just gonna, uh, plan B is just gonna be I'm just gonna send my wheels to get repainted. And I think I'm just gonna get them repainted. Reuse the barrels. The barrels are still good. I was just trying to get matching barrels. But um, if you need some uh, 19 by four inch barrels, brushed metal, uh, clear coat, hit me up. I, I let them go, because I really don't need them. It's just gonna mess up my whole uh, my wheel my whole wheel specs. If I keep them barrels, my front wheels are gonna be wider than my rear wheels, which is wonky. I don't want that shit. So yeah, just hit me up. <laughs>